November 2020. Angels, spirits, and guides. Angels. Angels. Scorpio message. Jesus. Okay. Um. Okay, Scorpio. You feel like you're stuck in a situation and there is a a lack of equal give and take also. Okay. And you could be dealing with a Virgo, a single Virgo who's very abundant. She enjoys everything that she has around her. She doesn't need any help. She's very independent. She's very passionate. She has plenty new ideas and a new passionate beginning. This is not making the choices that you need to make. You're really confused about a situation. There's a brand new beginning that's happening with a Virgo. You're not really sure about, you know, what you should do about the situation. This person is very independent, smart, intelligent, and abundant. She has all the knowledge. But you feel like the situation is unfair and you really don't know how to handle it. You want a new beginning. Which could happen in about one week in to the season of autumn okay and this is somebody feeling unstuck in a situation okay um this Virgo has a really good idea and you're not sure about what kind of decision you want to make and it's it's gonna take a week from now about and like I said, readings are timeless. It's when you view this video is when you are meant to see it. So you can try to do your timing within then. Okay. Any more messages for the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay. This looks like the end of a soulmate contract. And somebody is struggling really hard to keep this together. They are not sure what they want to do. They're not stuck all up in their head about it. And it's their wish. This is something that they really are wishing for. And they're hoping for a new relationship. And it could be with this Virgo. Some kind of new relationship. New ideas. You know, of how to... How to stop. The struggling and release your, all your fears you're stuck up in your head about a situation a relationship and there's you know a good foundation with this person they're very stable they're very grounded and abundant let's see but it's not an equal give and take the you know they all don't feel the same way about each other you know, you're really not sure about this person. They offer you, you know, their offer of love is real. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Angels, spirits, and guides. Ooh. Okay, this calls for justice. And you could be dealing with a Libra. Oh, actually... Okay, that's the end of it. Somebody's feeling out of control. There's some kind of legal situation going on and they feel up in the head about it. Not sure whether it's gonna, you know, turn into shit or if it's gonna be a good offer that you are expecting. You feel like you're losing control. You're trying to balance and juggle too many things and that's not, you know, working out for you. You know, you're letting your guard down and you know, you're, you're, there's a lack of passion, a lack of, you know, you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Virgo. Let's see. We have Air, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
And I mean, this is definitely a, a solid new offer. And it's a very passionate offer from this Virgo. And they have great ideas, but it's like y'all aren't connecting and you're struggling to connect to this person, but it's a struggle. And no matter what happens, no matter how much that goes wrong, no matter how much you try to juggle the situation, let your guard down, you know, you try to act like the queen of wands, you know, a very passionate queen, but this is a very jealous queen, you know, um, she's very jealous, um, aggressive, you know, she doesn't really show a lot of passion, she's kind of ruthless actually. Um, this could be someone from your past that you're manifesting, but you're struggling to manifest that person. It's not working out because it's not equal. You know, they don't feel the same. There's no love in this situation. You're being treated unfairly, Scorpio, so I would highly recommend not trying to work so hard on this relationship. It seems like it's exhausting mentally. Any more messages? For Scorpio. Any more messages for Scorpio? Okay, so in the summer, you're going to have an offer of new love. And this is all going to happen in the summer. You're all going to be all up in your emotions in this. You know, there's a lot of tears here. And you're very emotional about this. And this is somebody you feel, you know bonded to somebody you don't want to let go of you're you're like basically bonded to this person and it's temptation you know you have evil intentions in this situation but there's your ten of pentacles right there you know that this person that you are addicted to is your ten of pentacles this is your happy family life right here this is what you want but you're not getting that in return there's an offer of love, but it's it's not with pure intention. So it's gonna be an ending. There's gonna be an ending to this to this ton of pentacles here. Because of this devil and those impure intentions. Okay. Let's see if we have anything else. We have two endings here. The only thing that's not ending is your family the happy family life and the passion that you have for your family that you know the, let me see scorpio november 2020 scorpio november 2020 so somebody was you know somebody was thought of as being a high honored person but that since the situation ended you know this person with high honor is being looked down upon it's a mature woman with a child so, this is a woman with a child who is, used to be looked into as a high-honored person, a high-honored mature woman and a child, but now that's ending. This happy family life has been destroyed by the devil, but it was made with pure intentions in the beginning. It was love in the beginning. It just happened to go not your way. Any more messages for Scorpio, November 2020? Any messages for Scorpio? Okay. All right, there's a family room issue. Somebody feels like they're stuck in a situation. There is a message of concern on your journey. And it's about a great fortune. Oh, this is the message. Here's the message. <laughs> I just said that. So somebody's going to get a message in the mail, email, um, text message. It looks like a postage letter, but it's got a heart on it. Oh, wait, is that a heart? No, I can't see. Okay, no, that's just a message. And somebody has a message of love. But, oh boy. Okay, so somebody's failing to end a situation. 
You know, they have a lady who was privileged or felt privileged who isn't being treated privileged anymore. Um, this privileged lady feels stuck in her head, feels imprisoned, like she can't do anything. It's going on in the family. But there's a message of concern going coming on this little journey that we're going on. Um, not really sure. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Message of love ending. Your family is suffering from this ending. There's no... The great fortune is ending because of the... Oh, boy. Again? Okay, so there is a... Wow, let me give me a second here. Alright, there's a message of new love, an ending of a family, happy family life, and a complete, total feeling stabbed in the back by someone who you thought was a high, you know, you thought respectfully of this woman. It was a woman and a child and a lady who thought she was privileged, but she's all stuck up in her head. The family room is being affected by it. There's not going to be the great fortune. This devil is involved, of course. That's why things don't happen the way they should. But this message of concern will be... You will get it on your journey. When you're going through all of this little journey right here, that's when you're going to get your message of concern. And it's from a mature woman and... Well, it's about a privileged lady, a mature woman, and a child. To clarify any of these cards. Let's see. What is the privileged lady? Who's a privileged... Oh, Uh-oh. Privileged lady has bad health. I saw that. All right. Ugh. Okay, so if somebody's failing to change some habits that's going on um we have another devil card and that's bondage so somebody is also you know suffering from addictions could be have been in jail and i'm picking up on female energy so this could be a female that has a child and she was very mature but either she was This, this message, though, on this journey and about the family room is going to cause some problems. Definitely. Messages for Scorpio. November 2020. Looks like you're going to be having second thoughts about the situation, Scorpio. Definitely having second thoughts. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Messages for Scorpio. This main female, unexpected income. So there is going to be some unexpected income. However, So, this mature woman with a child thought she was privileged, but now they're having second thoughts about this main female and on an unexpected income. It involves the family room and the message of concern, like I said, is something that you will be getting soon. And the message of concern is about the main female and the unexpected income and great fortune which could result in addictions and imprisonment. So you're going to have second thoughts about the situation. Last shuffle. Any more messages for Scorpio? Angel spirits and guides. Courthouse. Okay, cool. definitely a courthouse situation. So you're having second thoughts about this situation in the courthouse. Second thoughts about the courthouse so i'd highly recommend scorpio that you have second thoughts about the courthouse situation because it might not go into your favor 
you think that there may be some unexpected income coming in but this great fortune card was in reversed so you may or may not get this great fortune depends y'all can let me know in the comment box below now for love for scorpio november 2020 Okay, Scorpio, it's time to retreat. Pay attention to the red flag. Somebody is cautioning you and trying to tell you. You might want to have second thoughts about this situation. You need to let go of control issues because you can't control anything. So free yourself. And guess what you got to do finally? Release your goddamn ex. You... <clears throat> You definitely need to let go of your ex because the feelings aren't going to be mutual. They never were. <laughs> Alright. But what you really need to do is make an effort. It says that great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So stop taking shortcuts, Scorpio. And get rid of your codependency because... You have an unrequited love situation. They don't feel the same way about you, Scorpio. Sorry, guys, but they don't. That's the truth, and it's going to lead to a separation. And when you see this person, you're going to be all playful and, and, and kind and stuff and try to work on things, but it's not going to work. So go ahead and love yourself first, because that's all you can do, because the person that you love doesn't love you. Any last messages for Scorpio? Let's do one more card. Scorpio, November 2020. I don't want to do that one. This one's calling my name. Alright, here we go. Come here. Alright. Scorpio, November 2020. Need to walk away, Scorpio. You're trying to sacrifice yourself in a situation that doesn't involve you. You need to walk away. That is the Eight of Cups. Walk away from the situation. It's in your best interest. Release the past. Stop being nostalgic about the past it's over let it go let it go it's over there's an ending but you won't let it end you won't let it end Scorpio you think that this is not going to end but it's destined to end you can send all the messages the uh, loving messages that you want and you can do whatever you want to try to make this fa uh, financial stability in your family, but it's not going to work. There's an ending coming. And the devil's involved and this main female is involved. So you need to retreat, really, and make the effort. Pay attention to the red flags. Get rid of your codependency because you have an unrequited love. You need to walk away from the situation and let go of your past. Any more messages for Scorpio? Eight of Swords. This is the card of jail. This could be mental jail or it could be a physical jail. So, if you don't let go of the past and walk away from the situation, release your ex, retreat, retreat um, release your codependency because you have an unrequited love, it's not going to change. And I... You're dealing with someone that is the high priestess. They're very intuitive. It could be a tarot reader. It could be a psychic. It could be a medium. It could be a Reiki healer. It could be someone that's very intuitive, knows how to manifest whatever she wants. She's not someone that you can fight against. The only person that matches hers is the emperor. 
I'm sorry, the magician. So, the Nine of Cups is the alcohol card. Somebody's drinking too much. And you're waiting for things to prosper. You're waiting for your financial success. But you have a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that's being a player. Breaking your heart, Three of Swords, breaking your heart. Moving on without you. And feeling stuck in this situation. So I would highly recommend leaving this. This is an air sign, Gemi um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this is the Knight of Swords. This is somebody that's really pissed off. So I'd highly recommend to just retreat, relax, let go, and move on before you get pissed off too much and destroy yourself. Good luck.